What's up you guys? It's Bookie Girl 7 here and today's video is going to be a little bit different. So today we're doing a Q&A video. Now I don't really think I've done a Q&A on this channel ever or if I have it's been a really long time. I do do Q&A videos pretty often on my Patreon so if you want to join Patreon the link will be in the description down below. But I haven't really done one on the channel and I've realized that I have a lot of new subscribers that don't really know much about me outside of Pokemon Go and outside of YouTube and you don't really get to see the real me all that much. So I figured a Q&A would be really good. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions and I picked some of the best ones and I'm going to answer those in today's video. Now I got asked a lot of questions so I tried to pick some that were a little bit more creative and that I've never really answered before. So yeah let's jump into it. Okay so the first question is do you like dogs or cats more? I am definitely a dog person. I do have a dog. His name is Ruger. He's three years old. He's basically mine and hubby's baby and I've always been more of a dog person. And I've owned cats in my life as well, but I just feel like dogs are a lot more loving and playful So definitely dogs and the next question is how many rocket grunts have you battled? So I'm pretty sure I've battled around 50 rocket grunts at this time I think I looked last night when I first saw this question. I think it was 53 What has been the best experience after you started YouTube and playing Pokemon Go? That is a great question. So I don't really have one particular experience that stands out because I've had a lot of really good ones. I would probably say Go Fest 2018 and Go Fest 2019 in Chicago. Those were amazing experiences for me. Those were the first like Pokemon Go events that I went to. And just meeting subscribers all over the country has been amazing. I've traveled to so many different places. I've had tons of subscriber meetups at this point. I've met so many people and that's really what makes doing YouTube worth it. I get to meet so many people that actually watch my videos. Like actually seeing people in real life makes me realize that real people are watching my videos you know I see the numbers all the time and the views and the likes and stuff but I never see the faces that go with it so going on all of these trips and traveling and meeting all these subscribers really that would be the best experience from starting YouTube if we have a safari zone in Mexico would you come you know honestly I've never been to Mexico in my life I would love to go to a Pokemon Go event in Mexico your favorite Kanto Pokemon so you guys know my favorite Kanto Pokemon is Gengar and honestly Haunters up there is well but other than those two I really like Cloyster for some reason I always really liked using it in my playthroughs I think in Pokemon Crystal I used it in like my first ever playthrough and another one of my favorites would be Lapras just because Lapras is beautiful it has a gorgeous shiny and maybe I just really like ice type Pokemon your stance on the LGBTQ community. This is a great question because I never really get asked this. You know, the channel's never about anything very serious. It's usually about Pokemon and that kind of thing. But I guess I should state the fact that I believe that everyone should have the right to love who they want and be with who they want and identify as whatever feels right. So if you do belong to the LGBTQ community, welcome to the channel. The next question is, do you want kids and how many? So right now, I really don't want any kids. You know, I'm 22 years old. I'm pretty young. Although I am married, um, both of us aren't really ready to have kids just yet. I feel like that's something that might come like five or 10 years in the future. But if we did have kids one day, I feel like I would want at least two, maybe three, no more than three. At least I don't know yet. Maybe one day I'm going to want like 10 kids. But right now, I see myself maybe having kids like 10 years in the future and I'll, maybe I'll have like two or three. I don't know, that's a weird question. I think about it a lot, of course, because I'm married, but it's not really a thing we have planned yet. If you could be turned into any Pokemon on a full moon, which would it be? So honestly, I really don't know. I actually read these questions before I filmed this video and I tried to think of an answer for this one and honestly, I have no idea. Um, maybe Gardevoir, because Gardevoir is like really beautiful, really cool. I think being a flying type Pokemon would be cool just because flying would be awesome. I've always wanted to be able to fly. I feel like if I could get a superhero power, that would be what I chose. But I don't know, maybe I'd be like a Charizard. That would be cool. Like a fire type Pokemon. Pokemon and a flying type would be awesome. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna go back to Gardevoir because she's fabulous. What made you fall in love with Pokemon? So this is actually a really good question because I don't really think about it that much now as an adult, but I've loved Pokemon for as long as I can remember. It's been around since before I was born and I've loved it for a really long time. But what made me fall in love with it, I think, is the main series games. Uh, they kind of have like a sense of wonder and adventure in them. You know, you gotta do some traveling and exploring and you discover new things. I feel like that's what really drew me into the Pokemon world. And I feel like Pokemon Go really carried over that feeling of wonder and adventure as well. So that's why Pokemon Go has basically taken over my life. I just really like the feeling of exploring and getting out there and seeing what you can find. 
How familiar are you with Gen 5 and 6 and are you excited for them to come to Pokemon Go? This is a great question. So up until Pokemon Go came out, I wasn't really familiar with anything past Gen 4. But now that Pokemon Go has come out, I've recently played through Generation 5 and 6 and I'm very familiar with Generation 6. It's one of my favorite generations that I've played. But Gen 5 I'm not as familiar with. I've only ever played through Gen 5 one time and I know most of the Pokemon but it's like I can't really remember all of them off the top of my head just yet. I need to study that one a little bit more before it comes out Pokemon Go. That way I can actually like cover it in videos and stuff. But I'm pretty familiar with both generations. I will say Gen 5 is one of my least favorites so far. Even though one of my favorite Pokemon, Chandelure, is from Generation 5. I don't really like most of the Pokemon from that generation. Uh, generation 6 is amazing. I love Sylveon. It's one of my favorites of all time. So of course I'm really excited for those to come to Pokemon Go. How long have you been a Pokemon fan? Uh, like I said, since as long as I can remember. Um, I guess I would say like five or six years old was when I really started playing with Pokemon cards. And then around the time I was like seven or eight, I started playing the main series games. My first game was Pokemon Crystal. And I was kind of a hardcore fan all the way until I was about 12 years old. I would say like mid middle school age I started to kind of fade away from the Pokemon stuff and all throughout high school I forgot about Pokemon wasn't really a fan anymore every now and then I would like look at my old Pokemon cards and be like oh how cool oh memories you know that kind of thing but I wasn't really like actively enjoying Pokemon anymore and then in 2016 I had recently just got married I was living on my own Pokemon Go came out I didn't really have a hobby at the time or at least not a very fun one so I was like I might as well try it and I tried Pokemon Go I got back into Pokemon completely like I said before because of Pokemon Go I got back into the main series I played Gen 5, 6, and 7 and I'm just like the most I've ever been into Pokemon right now so like I said I've been a fan since I was probably five years old but it kind of had like its patchy moments but right now I'm a diehard fan. The next question is what's your least favorite shiny? I don't really have one in particular that comes to mind but usually I don't really like shinies that barely change in color like what's an example I would say like shiny Fampy is not a very different change um what's another one shiny Gibble and like shiny Garchomp they barely change and that one like irritates me so bad for some reason like I want a Gibble community day in Pokemon Go but the shinies kind of suck so I don't know I would just say any shiny that doesn't change a lot Ooh, this next question is a good one they said have you ever wanted to quit Pokemon Go Honestly, every now and then I'll take like a break for a few days. I never really feel like quitting altogether, but I have quit before. So back in 2016, like a month or two into playing, I quit the game and I quit for like four months because the game was really boring. Um, I just feel like there weren't many features in the game. And once you caught all the Pokemon that spawn around your area and in your biome, there was like really nothing to do. So I quit playing for like four months. I came back for the Christmas event in 2016. And shortly after that, I actually started my YouTube channel. Like a couple of months later, um, Generation 2 came out. There was a lot more to do, more Pokemon to catch. I started my YouTube channel. I started making like really crappy screen recording Pokemon Go videos, but that was my start. But yeah, I feel like uh, I would have stayed gone if it wasn't for YouTube uh, because I started watching like Trainer Tips and Mystic 7, Ben 10 1, and Reversal, all the like OG Pokemon Go YouTubers. And that kind of drew me back into it, made me want to start doing YouTube. And then Pokemon Go started releasing more and more cool stuff. They started releasing shinies, more events. We have so many more features in the game now. It's crazy. So yeah, I have quit Pokemon Go before, but after I started YouTube and Pokemon Go started to become a little bit more fun, uh, I haven't really wanted to ever quit. I really just take breaks like a few days at a time, but that's pretty much it. Do you think Hat Pikachu is overrated? A lot of people hate whenever the Hat Pikachus come back to the game, but I love them especially when they can be shiny I love to hunt like exclusive limited time shiny so I really like the hat Pikachu's what other games do you play besides Pokemon this is a great question so ever since Pokemon Go has come out I've really just mainly played Pokemon games like Pokemon main series um, I played Pokemon let's go I played right now I'm actually really into Pokemon quest I love that game I love shiny hunting in it I started playing that when it first came out but kind of quit for a while but now I've gotten back into it and I play it like every single day 
But other than Pokemon games, right now I really don't play anything else. Um, I used to be really into Call of Duty and like shooter type games, but I've kind of gotten out of that since Pokemon Go was released. Um, right now I do play Fortnite sometimes. I don't really mention it because I feel like it's kind of a meme or like a joke to play Fortnite these days. But I do play Fortnite. I actually do like it. I'm not good at it by any means, but it is really fun. Um, I like it a lot better than PUBG because PUBG is like a little bit too serious. I feel like Fortnite is more goofy and fun. But yeah, right now I guess I would say I don't really play any other games besides Pokemon games. What do you do when you aren't playing Pokemon Go? Honestly, most of the time I'm playing Pokemon Go or editing a video and doing all this YouTube stuff. But when I'm not doing that, uh, me and my hubby like to go out and explore nature. We like to go driving through the mountains. We live in East Tennessee, so there's like a lot of mountain ranges here. So there's a lot of exploring and hiking and stuff like that to do. Um, we've recently started fishing again, finally. You have to have a fishing license here in Tennessee and we finally got our fishing licenses. So we go out and fish now. And honestly, just playing other video games, like I said, Pokemon Quest is like my new hobby now. I come home at night when I'm done working and everything and I play Pokemon Quest and it's so much fun. What Pokemon do you think will get a Galarian form? So if you guys don't know what the Galarian forms are, it's basically from the Generation 8 games, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, it's kind of like the Alolan forms, but for Generation 8. So older Pokemon are getting new forms in these new games and it's called the Galar region. So how would I say that? Is it Galarian? Galarian? I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Galarian. Anyways, the Galarian forms that I want, I don't really know what I want. Um, I've always thought that Dunsparce needs like an evolution. It's kind of like a useless Pokemon that everyone forgets about. It would be cool if Dunsparce got a new form and a new evolution along with it. That would be great. I think it'd be cool if it evolved into like a dragon type Pokemon. I know a lot of people have actually had that theory that that might happen. I think that would be really cool, but I don't know what other Pokemon Pokemon I want to have the Galarian forms of. I haven't really thought about it too much. How often do you play Fortnite? So I did mention Fortnite before. Um, I don't really play that often. I play almost every day, but not for very long. Like I'll play like a few like matches every night and then I'm kind of done for the night. Um, it's basically because I rage quit because I lose so much. <laughs> What is your favorite Pokemon type? Definitely ghost type Pokemon, but I also like the fairy types. Um, I like ice type, dark type. I even like fire type. I like a lot of different ones, but ghost is my favorite. What is the first shiny you hatched from an egg? My first shiny hatch was a Togepi, and I think that was over a year ago now. If you could do anything other than Pokemon Go videos, what would it be? Honestly, I'm living my dream right now. I can't believe I have a pretty successful YouTube channel and I have all of these subscribers that watch me every day. Honestly, YouTube is like a dream come true for me. So I haven't really thought about it. There's nothing else I really want to do. I really enjoy doing YouTube, but I guess it would be something cool like music. I think it'd be cool to be like a singer or whatever. I don't know. I'm really into music. I'm not really a great singer or anything like that, but I think it would be cool to like make music and tour the world and that kind of thing. But honestly, I think YouTube YouTube is really my dream job. Would you rather have a world without Gengar or a world without shinies? I'm sorry Gengar, I love you, you're my bro, but I really like my shinies. I feel like I would be happier to have shinies than to have Gengar because shiny hunting is like my favorite thing to do. It keeps me busy in all of my different Pokemon games. Um, Gengar is just really cool. He's like my favorite Pokemon, but honestly I really like the shinies so I'm gonna have to pick a world without Gengars. What is your favorite shiny so far? I'm assuming you mean out of all the shinies that are in Pokemon Go. Um, Shiny Sneasel is my new favorite in Pokemon Go and I don't have it yet. But my favorite that I've caught would probably be my Shiny Lapras or my Shiny Frostlass. How did you get interested in AR photography? This is a great question. So back in the day whenever Pokemon Master Holly was kind of getting bigger on YouTube, I discovered her channel through Reversal and I noticed in her videos she focused a lot on AR. And before that I never really cared about AR much. I never really saw the fun in it. And back then AR mode was a little bit complicated anyways. It wasn't that easy to get good photos but I started watching her and I got super inspired and I started to take AR photos of my Pokemon and I got really into it and then AR plus mode came out and I bought an iPhone just so I could use AR plus mode because at that time it wasn't available on Android so that shows you how much I loved it AR plus was amazing it still is and now we have go snapshot and that has made it so much fun to take pictures I can take pictures of my shiny Pokemon now without them running away um, but I would say the way that I got interested in it was definitely from Pokemon Master Holly. I don't give her credit enough for that, but thank you Holly for inspiring me. What is your least favorite Pokemon? My least favorite Pokemon is Nosepass. 
Pass and Provo Pass. Something about them just weird me out. I don't know what it is. I guess it's because they're ugly. <laughs> I don't know. I've like always hated Nose Pass and I actually don't really catch it much in Pokemon Go. Like if I see it on the map, I don't even try to catch it. First of all, it's because it takes a lot of Ultra Balls because it has a low capture rate and it's just ugly. I don't know. I'm sorry if you guys like Nose Pass. I just don't. <laughs> Is playing somewhat rural Pokemon Go as bad as they say it is? So yes, I am kind of a rural player, but I'll be honest, I don't really have a horrible time doing it. Um, I have a nice downtown area with some decent Pokestops and gyms, and a lot of people really do roast me hard. Like on live streams, they'll be like, oh, this area sucks. There's no spawns here. But honestly, I don't really have a bad time playing Pokemon Go around here. Like I will say I've traveled a lot to bigger cities like Chicago and New York City, and those places are way better to play Pokemon Go. There's way more happening, more raids, more shiny checks, all that stuff. But honestly, I don't really mind being a rural player. It's a lot more chill and relaxing. And every now and then I need a break from it and I want to go somewhere a little bit better to play, like a bigger city or something. But it's not that bad. What is your favorite Alolan form? Definitely Alolan Marowak. What makes a shiny good in your opinion? So honestly, I think a shiny is good if it's drastically different from its regular form. Like look at shiny Sneasel. Shiny Sneasel is like a greenish dark color and it changes to a vibrant pink color like it changes so much I like shinies that uh, you can definitely see the difference in what is your favorite Pokemon memory for this year so far definitely Pokemon Go Fest 2019 I met so many people hung out with so many other content creators for Pokemon Go and it was a great experience it always is going on those trips and seeing people like the event itself was kind of bad for me because we got rained out that day but just being in Chicago around all of those people it was an amazing feeling are you going to hold a meetup somewhere in the near future yeah pretty much anywhere that I travel I'm going to have a meetup everywhere that I've traveled so far I've done a meetup and it's been a lot of fun so yeah if I ever come to your area I will definitely have a meetup there are you going to college right now I am not and the last question is a little bit weird but I feel like I should answer it they said are you independently wealthy so I'm not sure exactly what they mean by that but first of all I'm not wealthy uh, I don't have a lot of money I don't make much from YouTube uh, I don't have rich parents and I'm not sponsored by anyone so I wouldn't say I'm wealthy um, I am independent though in the sense that like I don't have a boss and I'm not employed by anyone I do my own work here on YouTube I will say thank you to my subscribers and all of the people who watch my videos and the people who join my patreon and buy my merch because that really does help me a lot um, I do make money from YouTube ad revenue it's not really the best but it does get me by so you could say I'm independent but not wealthy <laughs> And that is all for my Q&A video. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. I felt like a Q&A was very much needed because I never really connect with you guys on this level. At least not in my videos. If you hang out on my live streams, you get a little bit more of this side of me. But I felt like this was definitely necessary. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I guess I'm going to close it off right here. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my Gengar gang. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!